Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on EMC consideration. Before I start, okay, I'd like to say thank you so much for you guys. To be very frank, I have received quite a handful of emails from you guys to urge me to restart the discussion on EMC. I'm sorry for the long break. Okay, I guess I'm ready now. Okay, so let's start after a break on the discussion on EMC by concentrating on grounding. This will be the part 35 series discussion on EMC consideration. The earlier on series discussion, I have put the video link under the description. So please take a look on those video if you're keen to know more about EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, please also give me some comment. For example, how can I actually improve my delivery? What are the topics that you guys are keen so that I can improve the standard of this channel? Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Okay, let's start by define what is ground. Okay, ground is defined as an equal potential point or plane. They basically serve as a reference potential for a circuit or system. Let's take a look on this diagram here. You can see that this is a source. The source actually drives the load through a current. They supply a current to drive the load. And after passing through the load, you can see that the current is actually returned back to the original source. Okay, so over here, you can see that equal potential point. Okay, so this is one equal potential point. This is another equal potential point. So basically, this serves as a ground. And... The plane here actually refer to, for example, this is a PCB plane. Okay, you can see that this whole piece of conductor is actually serving as a ground or a reference for the system or circuit. So this is the definition of ground. Okay, ground, in short, basically serves as a reference point okay, for a signal, for a power source, etc. Okay, ground is also having a low inductance or impedance path for current to return to the source. You can see from this diagram here, okay, you can see that there is a mean for the current to return back to the original source by traveling okay, in the ground plane. Okay, so this is a conductor. They basically have some potential difference or maybe there is some impedance okay, difference between this point here and this point here so as to enable the current to flow if there is a low inductance or low impedance path. Okay, I will come to this point one and point number two very soon after the next page. Okay, the path that actually taken by the returning signal, okay, you can see that the path that taken by the returning signal is very important, okay, because they actually determine the overall magnetic coupling. Basically, the, the, the magnitude of the magnetic coupling actually is proportional to the loop area. Okay, so this diagram is actually from the previous diagram here you can see that this is what i mean a source drive a load and then after that the load return back the current to the original source they form a loop area over here which is illustrated over here okay so the loop area is actually proportional to the magnitude of magnetic coupling okay so this magnetic coupling can be undesired they can be potential differential mode radiation so later on, on a series, okay, I will discuss how can we actually minimize magnetic coupling. I don't think we can totally remove magnetic coupling, but the key thing is how can we minimize the effect of magnetic coupling. Okay, so in short here, okay, we were not encouraged to create any loop area. Okay, as we know that the larger this area, okay, they basically magnify the magnetic coupling. So it is always desired to keep the loop area as small as possible. All conductors have a certain amount of impedance at the operating frequency. Okay, which means that, for example, earlier on this slide here, you can see that this is a conductor. Okay, they actually has a very small amount of inductance or impedance at certain frequency. Okay, so this is what you want to mention here. It implies that since current is flowing, okay, you can see that current is flowing, 
through some finite impedance, there will be a difference in potential between two physical separation points. As you can see that the current actually flow from one point to another point. Imagine this. If this point and this point, they have the same potential difference, exactly the same potential difference, then the current will not be able to flow. And because you can see from here, the load, no matter what they need to return back the current, back to the original source. Even this point here is the total reference point for the ground, okay, for example, a ground plane. However, there will be some slight low impedance path for the current to return, which means that basically this two point does not have the exact same potential value. By having slightly different potential value, then the current will be able to return from the load to the source. So this is what it means over here. Hence, definition one is only defined for ideal ground. Okay, which means that this definition one equal potential point, which means that this point is exactly the same as this point. Okay, this is only in the ideal world. Or this whole plane, they are perfect. There is no any potential difference, no matter which point that I tap on. This is again in the ideal world, which is called ideal ground, okay, which is not visible for a practical aspect here. Okay, so this is a quick definition on ground. Okay, let's do a case study to understand it better. Okay, for example, okay, you have a source, okay, you actually supply it through the back color path to the load. Okay, over here you can see that there are two ways okay, that the current can return back to the original source. So one way is to follow through path A. Okay, another way is basically through the ground. Okay, so let me illustrate on this here. Okay, so which path they will actually take to return back to the source? Will it take the shortest path? Okay, the shortest path will be through the path B. Okay, will it take with the lowest resistance? Okay, again, on the lowest resistance, because this is a conductor material, okay, because of conductor material, they have a lowest resistance. So will the return current travel back through the lowest resistance? Or they will take the path with the lowest impedance okay which is the path a here okay let's understand this in more detail by study this so-called case study here okay you can see that basically i drive a source from here okay so this is basically a path for me to travel from one point to the another point okay not, let's not do well so much how does the rest actually look like so basically this is a source they actually drive a current okay to a loop here so let's see under three kind of condition what will happen okay under the dc condition or under the low frequency condition okay they basically will follow the path b okay which means that they flow throughout the whole ground plane can you see here so which means that under the low frequency okay they actually will flow back they return the original signal through the path b okay which means that this is the pcb this is the ground plane they actually return it exactly from the ground plane all the way back to the source. So you can see that they basically flow evenly the ground. Okay, on the ground, you can see the color here. Okay, it may not be so clear, but you can imagine that they actually return back through the whole ground plane back to the original source. When frequency actually increase, okay, you can see that they still return back to the original source through the ground plane, as you can see from this diagram here. Okay, but you can see that they are not going to occupy the whole ground plane. They probably concentrate on how does the signal actually supply to the load and basically they will flow around it to return back to the original source. So it will take the path with the lowest resistance for this case here. However, if we further increase the frequency, okay, you can see that it may not follow back the original it may not follow back the original so-called uh, ground plane. As you can see, this, this uh, simulation here is actually sort of brightened. So they basically will take the lowest impedance, which is the path A, which is illustrated here. So instead of going back through the ground plane, they actually return back. Okay. So later on, I'm going to discuss on this, which is called the image plane, etc. So how to so-called minimize all this kind of effect. So later on, I will discuss how can image plane actually eliminate all this possibility here.
Okay, with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.